stroke in a nursing home. That's what Elder Advisors is all about. Did I get that out right? You said it correctly, baby. Thank you. It's beautiful. Elder Advisors, don't go broke in a nursing home. You know, you work your entire life to attain the life that you want to live. And when it's time to make that transition into a nursing home, you don't want to have all of that, all of your assets taken away from you. And that's what Elder Advisors is all about. With me now is Larry Weiss, who is the founder and CEO of Elder Advisors. And we also have Terry Graham, who is a CPA and a partner. And we'll talk more about his role with Elder Advisors. First of all, welcome back to the show. Thank you, Mr. Ramsey. You've got a couple of workshops coming up. We now. have workshops tonight at the Four Points by Sheraton on Crittenden Drive and tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock in uh, Clarksville at the Hampton Inn. And uh, we've been uh, doing this for a number of years. So we help families protect assets so they don't go broke in a nursing home. Because the reality is you don't have to. Yeah, there, there's legal strategies, financial strategies, and strategies, and also there's also tax strategies as well that we're going to talk about a little bit with Terry. But before we do that, I'm just curious. Okay, we talk a lot about your workshops. We do. And it is a give and take. You you, you make a presentation and then a lot of questions and right. answers, right? Right. Well, I'm just curious. What what's probably the most common question you get when you're doing your workshops? Oftentimes, uh, of course, Mr. Langdon will lead off tonight. He's with McNeely Stevens. He does he does a legal component. But, you know, when we're on your show, w with anybody that I'm talking to, I tell people, John, that I w personally, I want to be the dumbest man in the room, and I want to always surround myself with top talent, because surprise, surprise, I don't know everything. And so one of the questions that people, there's a shot of our workshops, it'll be much like tonight, Denise Manike. Denise's skill set as a former Medicaid supervisor with the state of Kentucky with almost 10 years experience, where before Denise would tell you at the workshop, as a caseworker, I couldn't tell you anything, just spend your money down. Uh, John, I'm partial, but that is a beautiful, dynamic man right there in the yellow tie. <laughs> oh, that's me. I thought it was John Ramsey. I'm sorry. That was my mistake. That's Larry Weiss. But uh, in any event, now Denise can show people how to protect assets where before they could not. That probably, without a doubt, the most common question people ask is, is it okay that my parents gave my brother and I $15,000, so we got rid of the last $30,000 who were eligible for Medicaid? And with that, I will defer to Terry Graham at Rod from Moss Accounting. I'm going to let him handle the IRS stuff, and then I'll come back to the Medicaid part. All right, Terry, so there's the most common question. Uh, okay. Tell me why you should or should not do that. Well, as far as the IRS is concerned, for 2018, the annual gift limitation is 15000 per person per year. So that would be acceptable. It would be acceptable. It would. All right, so that, this is good news. It is good news, but if you're in the context of filing for benefits for Medicaid, it's bad news because it's considered an uncompensated transfer. They gave away something for less than fair market, fair market value, and they will penalize you to do that. So we have to work with that when we're filing for benefits. But for husbands and wives, we can protect all the assets. So if one spouse is going into the nursing home, Elder Advisors, along with Steve Langdon and Neely Stevenson, with the legal component, we can protect all the assets so the family is kept whole and we can get care for dad. If it's a single person, we can protect about half of the assets. And the other part with uh, Terry Graham at Rodifer Moss is, because much like I'm not an attorney doing the legal, which Steve Langdon does, I'm not a CPA doing the financials, which Terry Graham is at Rodifer Moss. So when we're moving these strategies, often there are tax questions, and I refer those people to Terry Graham at Rodifer Moss. Yeah, I want to make sure that I give you enough uh, build-up here. And enough he deserves credit Because it. you talk about being the dumbest person in the room, though. But I, I, I tell you, you need to attend these workshops because you are a very dynamic speaker. And it keeps it entertaining. And Wait, it is critical information. Tammy, the producer said, don't forget beautiful, John. <laughs> and, I'm beautiful. And beautiful. <laughs> and it's critical information. You might as well get it, it in an entertaining way. For sure. But, but Terry, I, I want to talk a little bit more about what you do because tax strategies do change, don't they? They do. And, and you have to keep up, obviously, with the, the legal side of it, the tax strategy side of it. And for those who think, oh, it's easy. When mom or dad transfers and, and gets ready to you know, make that transition into a, into a senior living facility, it's easy. What would you say? Uh, it's not always easy. I mean, we've had the pleasure to work with Larry and his team for the last uh, several years uh, and have enjoyed all of it. But there are, every person's situation is different. Mm -hmm. So we take a look at uh, all the tax strategies available, including ca calculating capital gains and uh, figuring out whether they need to make estimated tax payments, uh, the, you know, the whole nine yards. It's, uh, uh, it's different for everyone. Uh, something that I really admire, Larry, and I told you this off camera. I, I like the fact that, I mean, you are sincerely someone who cares about people, and you're willing to make a home visit. Oh, I absolutely. mean, uh, if someone says, look, I'm, I've got the family assembled, right. and you'll come to them and make them comfortable. John, not only that, so, I'll work after 5 o'clock at night, and I met a family for, uh, Saturday at 10 a.m. in the morning. No one does that. And that's what's really unique about Elder Advisors is because of our full team approach, we literally hold people's hands through the entire process and beyond. And we're very mindful of the fact that a lot of the financial things that we're going to do may well involve 
a tax return being sure. filed. If for no other reason, just for informational purposes only, because we want to tap down all those issues and questions, make sure they're addressed, and that's when I refer people to Rodifern Moss. Okay, and Terry, I would think for you to have the resources and assets uh, and the team that he's assembled at Elder Advisors, that's very advantageous because you go, okay, I got the tax side handled. You're going to need an attorney. Got it. You're going to need an expert when it comes to senior living. Got it. Right. You're going to need someone who knows about Medicare, Medicaid. Got it. You know, doesn't that help you You're as exactly well? Exactly right, John. It certainly does. Hey, that's nice to hear, man. You got the team. You're not the dumbest guy in the room, by the way. He, you know very, you know a lot about what we're talking about here. Workshops tonight. Let's put the information yeah. up on the screen, yeah. and I want you to tell me. Come on up. This is good information, yeah. and it will be fun. It'll and be it is fun. Yeah. If you're not careful, you might learn something tonight, six o'clock at the Four Points by Sheraton on Crittenden Drive. Tomorrow morning in Indiana at uh, Hampton Inn, across from formerly Outback. Now they moved Outback over to Veterans Parkway. But remember, for husband and wife, if one spouse goes in the nursing home, we can protect all the assets. For a single, we can protect half the assets. It's worth coming in. Do not prejudge your situation. And don't listen to Gus at the coffee club at McDonald's. Gus doesn't know everything. Yeah, and, and it is all about, you know, like you said, protecting your assets. A lot of this information people don't know, and as you said, some of the folks on the other side don't right. want you to know. No, they don't. Spend yeah. it down $7,000 a month and go broke. There we go. And now, will Terry also be a part of this? Uh, he's always a part of the business model. Mm -hmm. Sadly, he will not be this evening. He has a, co a, a conflict with the schedule, but he's always available. I have his cell number. The staff is great. When we get families in, we'll get it taken care of. All right. Well, once again, elder advisors, don't go broke in a nursing home. For folks who want more information, <laughs> for folks who want more information, can they go to your website and what kind of information will well, they Well, yeah. I mean, they can go to the website, elderadvisors.com, and get the basic information. Of course, they can reach out through the website and schedule appointments, reach out to our office, but we make ourselves available. It's kind of the old. It's the way these things used to be. You take care of the client. You know, but a lot of folks go to these workshops for information, of course. But secondly, would be fashion advice. So, what exactly will be the attire tonight? For well, this? baby, I'll be on fire. I'm going to wear the same wardrobe <laughs> I had tonight. I'm not going to lay down because I'll wrinkle the suit. So, I'm going to stand up, be very stiff the rest of the day. Terry, uh, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for your thank information. You, thank you, Mr. Rodifer and Moss, Terry Graham, Party yes. Larry. Thanks for being part of the team. Really appreciate it. Again, elder advisors, highly recommend them. There's a lot of moving parts, but they've got you covered. And really, it's all about compassion for the family and making sure that you can protect your assets with Elder Advisors. I, I really strongly encourage you to attend one of these workshops, and it will be entertaining. There's the information on the screen one more time. All right, coming up here.